A maze is not a straight path. It can be chaotic and easy to get lost within, but at its center, a maze can hold the ultimate truth, the mastery over one's reality, or consciousness itself. These rich symbols, which seem to be a mild obsession of the Nolan brothers, provide a unique lens through which to look at Inception and the journey of its protagonist, Dominic Cobb. While the plot of the film centers around an elaborate con to destroy a corporate empire, Cobb's story is an introspective odyssey into the subconscious depths of his trauma. As his team of thieves navigates the artificial mazes of Fisher's mind, Cobb navigates the mazes of his own. The maze is more than a puzzle. It is an ancient symbol whose representation and meaning continue to evolve from its many foundations. Various religions have used a winding labyrinth to symbolize the meditative journey towards self-actualization or God, the representation of the highest possible order. Psychoanalyst Carl Jung recognized the maze as a representation of what he calls the individuation process, a twisted inward path toward wholeness and authenticity. Certain depictions of the maze are puzzle-like and challenging to navigate, and as a physical environment, a maze represents confusion and paranoia. The branching network of the maze evokes the folds and ridges of our own gray matter. Like the human mind, the maze is a complex structure that is difficult to traverse and easy to get lost within. Beyond the archetype, Inception establishes a very practical explanation for the prevalence of mazes in its story. The human mind has a strong ability to detect tampering, so dreams are built in the form of complex mazes in order to hide the extractor and his team from their marked subconscious. During Cobb's initial interview of Ariadne, he asks her to draw a maze that will take at least a minute to solve. Cobb easily solves her rudimentary mazes until she draws a circular maze which converges to a center. But the symbol also appears in physical spaces, such as the maze-like streets of Mombasa through which Cobb is chased by cobble engineering thugs. The chase culminates with Cobb running through an alley, the walls closing in around him, converging to his eventual freedom. Careful left, Mr. Cobb. What are you doing in Mombasa? I need to protect my investments. In the opening scene of Inception, Cobb is visited by a subconscious projection of his lost wife, Maul, in the middle of an extraction. While Maul's intentions are ambiguous, she betrays Cobb by informing his mark, Saito, of Cobb's plan. In truth, it was Cobb who ruined the mission, the guilt over his wife's death forcing his subconscious to work against him. Cobb understands that wherever he goes, his guilt follows, and in the subconscious, Maul is the manifestation and embodiment of this guilt. In Cobb's mind, he effectively killed his wife and left his two children parentless. The depths of Cobb's trauma are illustrated using motifs, settings, images, and sounds laid out during a scene in which Ariadne spies on Cobb's private dream. Cobb's subconscious is nothing but a prison of painful memories. An elevator connects these moments throughout Cobb's relationship with Maul, moments of regret that extend from one reality to another. As Cobb and Ariadne descend into this dream, she is introduced to memories that will continue to haunt Cobb throughout the film. Cobb tortures himself in this mental prison because his guilt doesn't allow him to dream in any other way. He has lost his connection to his own subconscious, and by extension his own reality. The metaphor is illustrated as Cobb stares patiently at a spinning top with a gun in his hand, not knowing if pulling the trigger would kill him or wake him up. The deeper Cobb and the crew travel into Fisher's mind, the deeper they travel into Cobb's. In the first level of the dream, Cobb and Ariadne's car is hit by a freight train, the one Cobb and Maul used to commit their dream-ending suicide. In the second level, as Cobb speaks to his Mark Fisher at the bar, Cobb catches a glimpse of his children as they turn and run away. This is his most recent haunting memory, the moment he chooses to flee the country rather than see his children one final time. Finally, in the third level, Cobb sees a projection of Maul through his rifle scope. Cobb's inability to let go of his guilt once again manifests when he questions whether or not Maul is real, knowing that she is just a projection. Even after Cobb shoots her, having first let her kill Fisher, Maul still exists in Cobb's subconscious, waiting for him in limbo. With no escape or resting place until the center is reached, the maze is a relevant symbol for time itself. When thinking about Inception as the representation of Cobb's psychological struggle to overcome guilt, 
the subjectivity of time takes on a meaning beyond simply the brain working faster in a dream. Instead, time and guilt are intimately linked. At the start of inception, Cobb exists in a metaphorical limbo, hopeless to the inevitability of becoming an old man, filled with regret, waiting to die alone. Within the mazes of his mind, Cobb is infinitely bounded by time, his guilt keeping him at a standstill. Trauma is a mental trap, a dead end in a maze, an obstacle which blocks its victims in their journey towards self-actualization. From the onset of inception, Cobb's life is chaotic from without and within. While he is chased around the world by corporate mercenaries, forever separated from his children, his mind is no more orderly. You, what the hell was all that? I have it under control. I'd hate to see you out of control. For years, Cobb had kept Maul in a locked room in his subconscious, unable to let her go and at the same time unable to confront his trauma because of his profound guilt. Not without engaging with every corner of his chaotic mind, not without descending into a physical and mental underworld, could Cobb arrive at the realization that brought his reality back into order. That Maul is no longer a part of his reality. That it's not a betrayal to let her go. In the final shot of Inception, as the spinning top begins to wobble ever so slightly, Cobb chooses to reunite with his children rather than wait for the top to stop or continue spinning. The film's resolution is not reliant on whether or not Cobb is in a dream, but on Cobb's relationship to his guilt. An earlier Cobb, one whose subconscious was haunted by the moment in which he chose to leave rather than get a final glimpse of his children, could not have conceived of such a reunion with them. They would have turned to run away as they always have. But Cobb freed himself from his maze and was finally free to see his children in his new reality. For millennia, the maze has served as an abstract representation of the human experience, and in inception, it continues to do so in more intricate and profound ways. Like Cobb, everyone has their own maze, their own internal struggle, their own subconscious prison that holds them in time. Inception challenges us to think deeper about ourselves, our dreams, and our psychological burdens. Nolan uses the plot of an epic heist to tell the story about our subconscious and the need to scrutinize it. The need to navigate the mazes in our own minds and return to the world transformed. <laughs>